Hello YouTube, Lucidus Lux here. I hope you guys have been enjoying the beautiful, beautiful weather uh, we've been having. North Carolina especially, it's been some really, really gorgeous days. I just want to shoot a quick video for you guys. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. I'm about ready to go to bed as you can tell. I'm in my bathrobe so it's pretty pretty casual. <laughs> but I've done, I've done some changes around the house and uh, just really excited to show you guys some of the little bit of things I've been doing. Um, some improvements I've made but mainly I want to show the upstairs so the upstairs has got carpet laid and just a little bit of stuff there is there is some stuff up there I've been purging all my things I've had a lot of storage up there it's been an attic for a while uh, but when you live in a small house you can't live with a lot of stuff and so I've been separating stuff I want versus what I don't want so it's work in progress you'll have to pardon me on that but without further ado let's get started so I want to start here in the bathroom I'm just gonna start right here with this toilet actually which I love and I will make a separate video about this later but this is my biogas system that I had told you guys about last time uh, got rid of the other composting one that I had sort of makeshift built that I didn't really like. This system is wonderful. It works beautiful. Um, expect a video later about it. It's just starting to produce. It's taken several months because of the cold weather uh, to get the bacteria colony going, but it's got a bidet installed that I put on separately. Um, just want to show you guys a little bit of the finishing work I've done. I, you know, I built this little platform for it to sit on with all the plumbing stuff below it. Um, and uh, installed a few things in here, like a new little light fixture and whatnot. But moving forward, we have this staircase I built. So this folds up into the ceiling. I have a hook over here, and it's very easy to manually take and basically put up out of the way over here when I want to. So the reason I built this, and as you can tell, it's a little bit of weight preloaded bent, so it, it's meant to take some some weight. Um, it's because if I'm having people over, the, the lift elevator thing I had in here, which wasn't really installed right, as I talked about half measures last time, was, was done very quickly and I ripped it out because I had to put carpet upstairs, but it's impractical when you have people. When you're having a lot of people going up and down, you're not going to wait on a lift going up and down one person at a time. So this is more for more people. When I need to, I can pull this out, hitch it up, and you can go upstairs. So, and the cool thing is it folds out of the way, and then I can use the elevator when I'm not having lots of people over. Something else I did is I finally installed this octopus light I bought off Amazon. Uh, I had a big problem with DC lights. I, I was looking for DC fixtures, and I kind of feel like an idiot, to be honest with you, because this is not a DC light, this is an AC light, and there's no reason in the world why you cannot use an AC light. You just put DC light bulbs in. I mean, it's, it's pretty cut and dried. It's pretty simple. Um, but for whatever reason, I was so caught up on having DC rated everything. AC is just rated heavier, so DC will still flow through it. Um, it may cause more resistance, you know, but with this fixture, I've had no problems at all. These are 12 volt bulbs, and it uses very little power. Uh, it also provides a lot of light in here, just a ton of light. So I do have carpet left over from upstairs. As you can tell, this carpet is very dirty. I'm replacing that next. Um, that's my next project, is pull all this off, and it's a lighter shade. Um, just through the construction process this carpet has just got trashed. I'm also going to pull some of this this linoleum because you can see there's a little bit of a damage in the side and I'm just going to re relay this. So now that I've got a lot of the heavy stuff out of the way I'm going to start fixing up making it look nice. And uh, here's my biogas burner. I'll get into that later as well but this is what I cook on with the biogas it produces. I have also created a little table here um, Part of it's hidden behind the drapes here, but this folds out, and I won't do this now because the stairs is in the way, but it folds out and you can eat on it, uh, put your computer on it, whatnot. Just a little makeshift table folds into the wall, um, stained it, everything, it's oak, I love it. And uh, my main dining set's gonna be upstairs, which I haven't started on yet. Anyway, headed upstairs, I just laid the carpet, and I have a variety of lights up here, and I decided to start with the lowest power, which is my DC strip. Uh, this is computer controlled, um, gonna be completely automated in the future. For now, I just have a remote, and I can also turn it on and off uh, remotely. My main lights are actually these lights here. They're string lights. I really, really like the look of it. It brings out the wood. I'm not going to do anything up there. I'm going to leave it. Um, I've also made some, installed some other lights there. You can see them. They're just turned on. Um, those are DC, and those those change with whatever schedule I have set for them. I mainly put those in, and there's one for every single bay I have up here, so I can kind of have a nice reflection of light off that if I want to for down below. That was just something I wanted to do extra, and so I installed those while I was at it. 
I got the carpet put on up here and I finished all the walls as you can tell I haven't put all the fixtures in yet um, but there's insulation behind all this so it's pretty well insulated which some people may laugh at because then you have the plastic which is not very well insulated I have a double layer I'm gonna be putting a second layer against that then finishing that with some trim board on top and cutting that down so it's more of a finished look and if I decide to change that in the future I'm gonna change it in the future but for now that's just what it is and it's actually been doing an okay job um, I am in the trees and so it's it's nice because it's very well shaded so it doesn't get too hot but the summer has just started so you can see all my junk here here's a leftover carpet I'm gonna be putting downstairs I got a little projector and surround sound system I've been setting up against this wall here which I'll get into it in a later date but I'm putting a couch right here so that I can come up here and this will be more of the entertainment is is what my thought is I'm gonna be moving that desk further down um, I want to make that bed so it kind of folds into the wall out of the way and then put a porch back there with that little half door which is cracked right now because I'm I use it as ventilation so when it gets really hot I can actually not even have to use AC I can save on power I crack my back door I put a central fan up here um, and it sucks all the heat up through here and it blows it right out the back door so it's just like a giant uh, old you know back in the day they had the the uh circulate the circulation fans in the ceiling and they're just it was a giant air um i forget what it's called uh, but they used to use that as a central cooling unit before they really put in ac and i've kind of been doing that and it saves a lot of power so this is basically all i've got done so far a lot of my stuff is kind of hiding uh the progress i've made and I'm going to slowly be uh, getting rid of some of this stuff and organizing it, putting bins up here and uh, a couple pieces of furniture, dressers, whatnot, so kind of get out of the way. For now, I still got all my project stuff back there that I'm getting rid of because I don't need to do anything more with anything, but this is basically what I've done so far. Uh, in the daytime, it is beautiful. You can see out right now, all you're seeing is the reflection of the lights. You can see a little bit out there. It's beautiful. I, I wanted to make this more of a reading room where I can kind of just be up here, you know, watch TV or uh, over the projector or just basically enjoy the sun. And so that's kind of what it's been. So that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video update. I will be shooting a few more when I actually finish this and I get some, you know, it's more livable up here. Uh, as well as replacing the carpet, some of the floor downstairs, and a few more finishing touches. But at this point, this house is entirely livable. Um, I've been doing very little work on it lately because I've been in the middle of a job transition. And so I'm, I'm doing a lot of online work and whatnot. Excuse me, I can't talk tonight apparently. <laughs> a lot of job work and whatnot. So hope you guys are enjoying uh, this video. Hope you had a good weekend, and I'll come to you with another video. Thank you.